do? I don't think I've ever seen Ignatius with blue hair. Who is? I think Perry was his mother, if I recall here. Man, my Fire Emblem Fate stuff is so on and off, isn't it? Phew, I've been marching along for what seems like forever and a day. It's not much farther until I reach Nor. I hope Father is glad to see me. The closer I get, the more enemies I see. Is trouble everywhere here? I hope I'm able to reach him. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just need to keep telling myself that. I'm not a child anymore. Help! Help me! Oh, jeez. Please! What's wrong? Look as if devils have been at your back. Oh, oh far, oh, worse, far worse. Devils we could fight. But <laughs> the, the immediate first thing that I thought about referencing in my head was we recently did the epilogue of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet where everyone in Kitakami Village starts doing like the chicken dance <laughs> with that whole Mochi Mayhem epilogue. And we were joking about how it was just like Fortnite dances and Fortnite brain rot. And that's immediately what my brain thought of here. Where it's like, devils, we could at least fight. But all this Fortnite dances everyone keeps on doing and yelling about mochi. That we can't. Our uh, village is about to be invaded by enemies that go unseen. Invisible enemies? Oh no. What will you do? I mean, uh, what can I do? I'm Ignatius, son of Benny. One of Nor's most formidable knights. You can have confidence in me. Come on, look her in the eyes. You're a knight, damn it. All right. All right, you two run past. I'll stand my ground here and fight them off. I swear that I won't let them inside. But summon more help if you can. What? What? But they'll be here soon. By the time we find help, you'll be dead. No. No, I'll be right here, fighting. But go now. Hmm? Yes, yes. Of course, I love how the fact that they're invisible enemies never has any effect on your accuracy. Well, apart from normal Fire Emblem jank, but that's... Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Deep breath. Now another. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I've got my silly little charm, after all. That's always kept me safe. Best present father ever gave me. Oh, oh you! Burly fellow! We need your help! Our village is about to be attacked. Some brave soul is standing guard alone to fight them off. He may be a knight, and he's got the courage of ten men, but he'll be a goner. Then our village will be wide open to those fiends. <laughs> What's that? Was he? We don't know. He said his name was Ignatius. I think he was scared. Like he didn't want to show it. You know that a character is important when another character is asking who they are. Otherwise, that question would never be asked. Ignatius? Ignatius, you say? Yes. Yes. Said he was son of someone. <laughs> I mean, everyone's a kid of someone, but... Uh, Flanny, Danny, Penny... Some knight of Nor. Probably some asshole. <gasps> no doubt. It's him. What's he doing putting himself at risk? He should have run, too. Coming, son. Oh, yes. And with the vengeance of 10,000 men. All right, well, and yeah, it was a, uh, it was certainly something. Also, I don't think the chat is properly cropped. It looks like it's just barely going on to the game. So bam, crop it like one more pixel down. And then the chat shadow, I need to crop like one more pixel down too. Whoa, that's one pixel up, one down. I think that's it, probably, I don't know. We'll see here. My units are, hold on. I need all the kids and stuff here, hold on. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's that. Or if it's a Fire Emblem game, it's like, which one of the enemies is recruitable? And it's usually whichever one of them doesn't look terrible. Um, <laughs> all right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All the kiddos we have thus far. Azura, Xander here, and then some healers. Kyle, maybe? Maybe Kyle. Is there a capturable boss here? I might still at some point use that save data editor to put in that capturable boss that I missed. Considering there's ah, literally no way to get that boss again otherwise. As far as I'm aware. Um, you don't look capturable. Which means I don't need to bring Niles. I could bring Niles because he hits hard anyway. But like... Or I could bring the mother. But, eh. 
How about there can be two Siluses? Bring mom. She has D in swords and E in axes. So like. Oh yeah, and I forgot to set up my skills. I have to exit. <laughs> I don't think I even have a tab with my spreadsheet open right now, do I? Uh, let's see here. I sure don't. I gotta go to Google Drive here. Oh, there's Conquest Stream as well, my recent files. Um, let's see here. If I go to my Nor characters. What the hell did Ignatius want to inherit again? Um, Benny was gonna pass down Aegis just because he doesn't have anything exclusive that he can pass down anyway. And Perry was gonna pass down Life Taker. Something exclusive from Dark Mage there was the was the plan. Since yeah, he already has access to the fighter line, he can get the stuff there that he wants. So yeah, let's see here. So Benny. Alright, he's already set up. And then Oh, they were both already set up. I didn't actually need a back out. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Um, all right, back to Parallog 17 then. Oh yeah, I can not forget to press the button that does that. Wow. But yeah, I forgot to ask, what are you making today on the printer? What I'm going to be making for the next potentially rest of the Fire Emblem Fates Conquest playthrough. Um, this, but an actual full sword is the case because this is a little bit of a failure that I salvaged into like a pedestal decorative thing. I'm going to make like an actual full size sword because that's what this was meant to be before, like, the print kind of failed and sucked and stuff like that. It was meant to be, like, a full cosplay, like, Master Sword print. But everything cracked, things didn't really fit all that well together, so I salvaged it by printing a pedestal, and now it's just, like, a decorative piece rather than a cosplay piece. Unless, like, I could take it out of the pedestal. I didn't put it in there super, super hard. Unless it was the kind of thing where you wanted to do, like, a Tears of the Kingdom cosplay. So, like, you just duct tape, like, a stick... To this or something like that and it had it on your back <laughs> or something like that that could be uh that could be kind of funny there what i say about it falling apart huh there goes one of the yellow notches is it on my back now this is why this is the one that i did not want to send to nishara because it is not in good condition why well, i want to print like an actual good one to send to him as thanks for those amiibo that you sent me where the heck did the I don't know where it went. I'm gonna be honest here. Also, these are meant to uh meant to slot in, and they just didn't. The friction was too tight, so I cut off the part of them that was meant to slot in, and then I gorilla glued them on instead. And I guess that didn't work. Under the desk, maybe. But like, I think I have another spare piece around. Probably. I think I have a few spare master sword pieces around from when I was first making this. But like I, yeah, I don't know where it went now. So, yeah, part of the uh, Master Sword here is just kind of missing. Here's my beanbag chair that I should get a little bit more out of the way. I usually have it under my desk, but uh, I have a second computer under there right now that I'm going to take to Jan Lan. I rebuilt my computer since the last time that I streamed this, but I guess I mentioned that earlier. It doesn't really matter much for Fire Emblem Fates. If I get this blanket under the desk on, out of the way, I genuinely have no... No idea where it went. So, yeah, I mean, uh, where's that? Here it is. So these are some other ones that I printed from when I was trying to print like some slightly different sizes. So they're meant to look like this is the idea where they slot in. And uh, <laughs> you can just kind of see a mess of yellow there where I shoved it in and then, no, it's too bright. You can't see it. Just take my word for it. Where um, it slid in and it kind of broke off and stuff because the friction was too tight. I don't know where the piece went. So I could break off the long bit from another one of these and then Gorilla Glue it on. And maybe that's what I'll do. Because, yeah, I don't actually know where my last one went. I might find it at some point here. It's not like in my jacket or something, is it? I hope not. Well, I guess I'll find out, uh, I guess I'll find out later. But yeah, so there's, um, there's that. So that's what's going on there. And yeah, it looks pretty decent from afar when you don't see that there's parts of it that are just, like, not printed properly there and that the whole thing is, like, 
getting ready to crack and fall apart at any given second there. There is a part of the blade that's completely cracked. So yeah, I'm gonna print an actual nice one. Hopefully this loose tolerance, loose fit version will work a little bit better, even if it involves glue. Like apart from the side pieces there, there's no glue involved with this since it's a friction fit design, but I wanna print one that actually is functional and stuff. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see here. Yeah, maybe the void is taking it, I don't know. Um, thoughts on Chrono Trigger DS and Mario 64 DS? You got those games recently and wanted to know if they're worth playing. I remember playing a lot of Mario 64 DS. I've never played Chrono Trigger DS. Um, but yeah, Fire Emblem. Wondered how long do some of these stages take? Um, it depends. Anywhere from like 10 minutes to 3 hours, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna shove this lightly into the pedestal for now. I, um... I had it lightly in the pedestal in case I ever wanted to take it out and do something like a taped on stick or if this was going to be something sent to that Inishara nerd then he'd have the option but I'm going to just print a better one and I'll make do with this little failure of a print here this is what I think I'll do. Put my dragon back on it for now. You can just chill there and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's just see here. I'm sorry, I, push it. I don't have batteries. <laughs> I'm still waiting for them to come in is the case. Um, did I want to bring Perry? So I hope things are going well today, Guzma. Yeah, I'll just stick with that, I think. That's what I'll probably do here. Um, but yeah. And what be Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope? Goodness, some stages require some brain power. Or what, with them, oh, with stages taking a while? They certainly can at times. What do you have? Freeze? That's annoying. Freeze? Eh. I probably need to talk to you with Benny or uh, my unit. Probably Benny, though. So I'm probably going to have to go over there. Are there any bonds I want to be building up here? Where's my... Uh, here's my thing, Bob. Let's see here. So Percy wants to build up a bond with Ignatius, so I can start doing that later. Um, Meadery wants to build a bond with Kana and Dwyer. Um, can't really do that right now. Let's see here. Soleil with my unit. I guess I can do that. Um, Ophelia wants to build a bond with Midori. So I can start doing that. Sure. Sure, sounds good to me. But yeah. Oh, I don't know if I have any other AA batteries around here. I'm not entirely certain. But yeah, they might want individual kills for experience and stuff. But I'll put them side by side signify that they're gonna want to become friends and stuff um so my kiddos can be over there i can do this and then say i don't know man just sure i'll give it a go here but yeah um keep the enemy out of the village combat animations on and then like all right, so there's a whole bunch of dad axe guys. So if I just like go here with the Azure Indigo, and then I say, come here and build up some, I don't know, stone experience <laughs> stuff there. But yeah, gonna drink with the coworkers right now. Nice. Hope you have some fun with that. Let's see here. I'm gonna make another one of him. I'm gonna get a gold bar, apparently, from that one skill there that I got since the last time that I streamed here, because that's a level 5 merchant skill. So I guess she got two levels since last time. Wee, down we go. Go, Kyle! Get him! You can do it! Alright, Azura over this way with her... Gonna be in that class for a little while, I guess, because that is gonna take, like, forever. That's a downside of my Azura grinding script that brought her up to level 40 from the get-go. If there's any other skills you want on her, it's really darn near impossible to get them for some time. <laughs> Quite frankly. But yeah. This is play is different from your vibe, but they still invite you for a drink. Do you mean literally or figuratively when you refer to music there? Also, that isn't peeling, right? It looks like it's not peeling. These, uh, these pieces tend to have a really bad habit of peeling upward at the edges there, which means that two of them put together wouldn't be quite flush. So, hopefully there's no peeling. It's like wrap. Okay, so in the literal sense, in that case. Um, why are these guys just wholly uninterested?
All right, so there's one person's freeze range and another person's freeze range. I could have Azura just start eating some freezes is what I could do. And then meanwhile, over here, I don't know, man. Um, You're using swords, Worm Slayer. Would Meteri be okay with the layoff in like here? Or something like that? Would that be okay? Probably not. This might be a reset, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. We And then say... Sure. Also, Percy's magic really sucks right now. It's actually not too bad, but when I was in that grinding map, it's like, yeah, this isn't great, is it? Um, here. I don't think these two can't build up any actual bonds, so let's just go ahead and do that. And then say... Sure. Oh, he doesn't have a forged steel lance. Does he now? Wait, where's Perry? I could have paired Perry up with him. I'm really dumb sometimes. I don't know what to tell you. Um, sure, do that. But yeah. Wait, let's see here. Did you hear about the thing happened in Vegas where the guy being trialed jumped over the desk and attempted to assault the judge? Yeah, he just greatly appreciated what the judge said and wanted to give a heartfelt hug and all that. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. I have failed you. All right, I'm not quite as durable as I thought here. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. About that. Yeah. Even with a whole bunch of grinding, you uh, you still need to come in very fully prepared when it comes to Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. That's kind of the way it goes. So maybe I'll even like. Hi, friends. Well, I just want to go at it. Oh, yeah, tomes count as swords, so I can stick with it. What I can do. Yeah, that's on. Sure. Let's do it, how about? Let's do the thing. And get a little bit of cold. Experience what we're getting here in Canada right now. Okay. So, like... I guess I could have started Ophelia as the closer one and then, like, movement boosted with pairing up. Is what I could have done. Oh, well. Alright, go this way. Do to replicate. And go here. Sure, pair up there. Go over here, Kyle. Percy, be at the ready over here. Uh, Nyx, head on over this way. Alright. You moved into the forest tile, but that's fine. Nice miss. Time to die. All right. I'm not gaining a whole lot of experience from you, am I? All right, we're good. Nice. I'm not gonna take damage from the last guy because he's gonna be uh, facing a shield. A full shield here. Also, I have like an activity feed with the stream manager on my left monitor here. And now the thing that's constantly there in like the corner of my vision is Anima's 50 bits constantly emoting from earlier. That's <laughs> the thing. But hey. Okay. And then... I use lances. This guy has a worm slayer. Oh, so I don't want to go into that tile. Most likely. I mean... Eh... Here, we're just gonna eh, deal with things over here, probably. Maybe I should pull back. Might actually be the safer thing to do. Alright, Azura, just start getting frozen and stuff. You guys probably won't be able to reach. So maybe I'll just pull back to here. But yeah, um... Wait, are any of the Final Fantasy games on the Switch? Like the earlier ones, you mean? There's 10 and 10 too. I think that there's 7 and 8. Maybe 9. Time to die! I love how the book just hovers there. 
It's over. Good old Fire Emblem Fates, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, and I own, uh, I own 10 and 10 too. On the Swatch. Alright, that's a tile where we can feel free to get frozen. If we want. So, like... If you want to freeze the replica. Wait, but that'll freeze Xander too. So that might not actually be the best play. But hey, what you gonna do? It's just that guy that reaches there. Oh, and you. Um, Sure, go here and like... Put that on, sure. Sounds good to me, and then we're gonna be ready to move on in here shortly. Is what I'm thinking. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna need to rush down there. So maybe after this next turn, I'll just start making my way down. Hey, well, I'll do. Okay, you did freeze the replica. Oh, nice miss, nerd. Alright, please miss. Nice! Wow. Fate's RNG actually being my favor? Sorry. What year is it? Alright. Yeah, this is where things are a little bit more worrisome. That's where I thought that stone might be good, potentially. Alright, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to dip out of there, I think. You have a javelin. And I'm doubling you. I guess your speed must be like eight point lower or something than the last guy. What? Oh, come on. Maybe I spoke too soon about Fate's RNG. I missed a 91. That last guy can't reach me, right? Okay. Um. Okay, so about this. No, you should not be attacking Ignatius. Oh, crap. I should have just been rushing right in from the get go. Holy crap. Um, well, that's awkward, isn't it? I do have to say. Um. That's not. Wait, you can't reach there? Oh. Oh. So can I just like. Hold on. Wait a second. But yeah. In a later Final Fantasy game added as a bundle will you play or wait until you played the other ones first. The first ones on my list are either 10 or 7. Those are the ones that are on my mental list right now as highest priority. So, I mean, I guess I can start rushing Azura down this way, right? If I want someone with her. Replica can't really go with her. Here, some experience for the lad. Don't really want to get debuffed all that much if it can be avoided. I'm gonna risk it for the hypothetical biscuit with my auto hotkey grinded busted Azura. Her defense is a bit lower, but we'll see here. I'll build up my shield a little bit that way. This is a bit of a gamble. I'll rush in and do what I can about some of these other guys to reduce that risk as much as I can. Um, about that. So, huh, <laughs> just want to make sure. Hold on, let's see here. Kyle, um... You can't deal with any of these guys as is. Maybe I can get these guys to surround Benny over here while I pull out. Maybe. Because what are they going to do to him? If you have a GTX on your computer, had a console hooked up with it, would it work for the console or just whatever you put up on the computer? What? Are you saying like the graphics card? You can't add the resources of a computer graphics card to a console. That's not a... If that's what you're asking. That's not a thing that you can do. You can't even add, like, the... Well, at least without a lot, a lot of really crazy stuff, you typically can't add the processing power of one computer to another. 
even either. Except for very specific setups. I mean, there's not really much point in doing that. Even if it was possible, there's not much point in doing that when games on whatever console or are already designed for that specific console. Is the case. Uh, huh. So we're just neutral with this. Yeah, so maybe Kyle should actually... Oh... They can reach far, though! I don't like them reaching far! I'm gonna go for this anyway. Build some shield. I know this is all a little bit of a gamble, and this might be another reset. I hope that doesn't one-shot. Good. Okay, that works. That was a good yeah. fight. Yeah, and if it's like a hardware limitation, and that's the or if that's the way that's designed, bumping up the hardware would not change it if it's designed to look specifically one way. This is the case. Bumping up hardware can increase things like frame rate and amount of pixels, but it can't improve like textures or anything like that. It's not how that kind of thing works. Uh, crap, man. I mean, like... Sure, I guess. Um... Yeah, I guess there where it's like, if you want, like, 30 FPS or 60 FPS and what kind of settings with that. Oh, I could have healed here with Leo, but I guess that would have put him in a little bit of a danger zone. Here, equip that. Alright, I probably lose here, I think. I'm not getting over there in time. Holy crap! I actually need to rush over there, like, immediately. Unless that misses. How do I do this? What? You what now? Like, Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Lunatic. Maps. I know we're just built different, but still. What? I'm doing this. <laughs> Screw it. And then, I don't know, maybe not Kyle, but someone with some more defense instead. Shove in on the left side. You kind of like Niles there. 26 defense as opposed to 16, so I mean... He still has Mariah carry. So like... And then, yeah, you could already get into that first freeze range, potentially. I mean, if I don't want you to be getting on in there. I mean, hmm. Which I might not. Who wants to go down here is the question. Does Niles want to? Maybe. But yeah. And yeah, I, uh, I remember you mentioning that you really like that there and stuff. But yeah, I know that they can be kind of mixed and stuff. And welcome back there, Geek, if that's how I should just refer to you as. What has been happening? I've been failing at this map and restarting it. Stuff. So... Hmm. I could just send Xander down there immediately along with Leo here. This is what I could do. And then, like... We have some of my kiddos in the back there compared to the ones that might actually be rushing in a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah. I'd be intrigued, but like in terms of Final Fantasy, the things that are up in my queue of my mental list, which I might not even be able to get to for at least a couple of years yet still, is 7 and 10. I don't know if I'll even have the time to get to those for quite a while. Yeah, so I probably shouldn't replicate right now. Do any of them have, uh... 
No, they don't have anything ranged, so I may as well here. Yeah, my, uh... No, dang it! Yeah, my game queue is, uh, really long. I mean, there's a lot of long series things that I want to get through. I'd love to get through a lot more Fire Emblem stuff if I had the time. I mean, I'm gonna try to get a job right out of university if I can, like, as soon after at least. Like, maybe I'll have some time off and I get to do some other stuff, but... You know, most likely gonna be searching right for work and stuff. Can just say GMK or G if you want, but yeah, it was supposed to be G33K, but yeah, everyone just says geek. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And in terms of series stuff, it's like, I still have several Assassin's Creed games that I want to get through as part of that series. I want to get through the entire Mario RPG series, and I still have oh, literally all the Paper Mario games except for one. I still have most of the Mario and Luigi games left to, uh, left to do. I've only done two, so I have three left to go on that front. I, um, love to do some more classic Pokemon if I get the chance. Definitely gotta do XD Gale of Darkness one of these days when I get the chance. I'd love to eventually have all the 3D Zelda games covered. I've covered a good chunk of them now with Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. I think the big ones that I'm missing now are just, uh, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. And I'd still love to eventually do things like Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds, if I ever have the chance. Um... We played Last of Us Part 1, so I'll play Part 2 when I get the chance for the, uh, for the sake of doing that. What else do I have? Let's see here. If I look at my, uh, Discord server that I use to keep track of, uh, GameCube kind of stuff. Let's see here. It is... Here. What other things are they planning on doing? Oh, yeah! Here's Fire Emblem Three Hopes that I don't know if I'm ever doing. I want to get through the rest of the Metroid Prime trilogy, but I'm also kind of waiting to see if Prime 2 comes to the Switch. Prime Hunters at least probably won't, so I'm probably gonna start my Prime Hunters playthrough at Janland, because it's a pretty short game. So I can do that then. Um, what else is on my list here? I'd love to do the Pokemon Ranger games in Poke Park one day. Oh, I gotta do, uh, Pokemon Conquest one day. That's what I have to do. And, like, the Mystery Dungeon games I'm missing. I have to play through, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity and redo my playthrough of, uh, uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. Um, let's see here what else is here of stuff that I'd like to play. I'd love to cover Fallout one day. I'd love to cover Mass Effect one day and find out about, like, more games that were made here. Um, there's the rest of Metal Gear to go, but I am waiting for Metal Gear Solid Delta to release. So Metal Gear's on pause until that releases. Um, would like to do more stuff in the Persona series if I get the chance, and I'll play 3 Reload come up here. Um... I would like to do some Final Fantasy stuff in general, but 7 and 10 are highest up on my priority list. Um, doing Ace Attorney would be really cool one day, but that would take a lot of organization if we do, like, the whole group thing. Red Dead Redemption is another one on my list of, I would like to do that one day, um, is the case. And I was just chatting about it with a friend a few days ago, the one with his PS4, that he said that he'd be willing to lend and stuff. He was saying that he had played Red Dead Redemption 2, and it was, like, one of the greatest things ever. And I was like, yeah, I'd like to play that one day with playing Red Dead 1 first. And he was like, oh yeah, Red Dead 1 is pretty good. And especially if you play Red Dead 2 after, then it's, like, amazing. Um, wouldn't mind doing the Donkey Kong Country stuff. That'd be fun there. I would love to do Xeno Saga and Xeno Gears. That's on my list as well as something that I should probably go through at some point. There's the rest of the Walking Dead Telltale game series. I've only done the first game thus far, so I still have, like, three more to go. Maybe one day I'll do some Rayman stuff. Resident Evil here is, here is, is on my list that I have as well as, like, something that I one day like to do. Um, there's some other things that are just listed as, like, generally I like to cover some of it, like FC or Star Fox Kirby. Uh, maybe one day play Mother, like, uh, Earthbound and Mother 3. Maybe one day I'll play uh, Horizon, which my friendo there recommended to me. Um, what are some things on my list of individual games that aren't really parts of series that I want to do? <laughs> one day I would like to play through Conker's Bad Fur Day, maybe for, like, a 24-hour cherry stream or something like that. Kid Icarus Uprising is another one. I don't think I'd do the first two games before that point. Um, Lego City Undercover would be fun. Um, Journey's on here, and that's a short game. Maybe I'll just play it, like, coming up here at Janland or something like that. That could be fun. That could be a good time there. Um, in terms of stuff that I'd like to get through here sooner rather than later, there's also Persona 5 Strikers. Um, just gonna finish up Persona 5 Tactica here soon, and then Persona 3 Reload, and then Strikers will probably come after. So, yeah, that's, um, all the PlayStation? No, that's a, that's just games in general. That's not all of the PlayStation there. Um, but yeah, let's just see here. And uh, once you do have it all set up here, do you have any games that you have in mind that you want to try out with a PS5? I don't know. 
<laughs> I have to think about. I'm sure some of those are probably applicable to that as well. Uh, and maybe while your partners and kids slash super there. But I played Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PS5. Biggest city in that game is actually New Orleans. Nice. Well, it's not New Orleans, but yeah, still there. But yeah, let's see here. If you get Trico, Mudkip, Snivy, or Axu, and Gates to Infinity, name it all cheat. <laughs> yeah, so my uh, my list of things I want to get through is kind of long. I have no shortage of video games that I can play anytime remotely soon here. So that's kind of what's going on there. All right, just give me this stupid steel sword that I forgot to equip last time because I'm dumb. Um, Here, I compare it with Niles. And then we and I also actually want to go into someone's range for real right now, which you know what? I think I will. I was just going to use that to move and boost, but hey, that works too. That does work too. Let's see here. Go ahead and do this. Go over here and get ready to shove my face in there as fast as I can. And then, how about I do this? Like that. I hope I don't need to run someone directly over to Ignatius. Nope, was off. But I might just have to do that. Get a Peach or Charmander for a partner named Peyton. <laughs> Got a lot of DS, 3DS, and Switch games to complete as well as doing Professor Oak Challenge. On Gen 3, 4, 5, 7, and Pokemon Shield DLC, no expansion. What's Professor Oak Challenge? Do I even want to know, or is it something torturous and crazy? No, these guys didn't even want to attack Xander here. Hold on. Let's, um... I can't schmove. I can't do it. These stupid ninjas are going to start running over to Ignatius, like, as fast as they can. So, I mean, like, if I just we and then say, yeah, Norian Blade is the defensive one. And Silas is fast enough to be doubling, and he's all OP and stuff, so, like... I will protect my friends. Poke? Ow. I was about to say, it might be good if the Luna doesn't kill just so I build up my shield, even at the cost of sustaining four damage. Finally. So that's fine. That's a-okay there. I should probably do this and then I can go wherever the hell I feel like going. Like over here, with another Silas if I want. You're the, yeah, you're the guy with the Worm Slayer, but it's in the back. So if I can kill you right now, which I can't unless I get lucky. So torture guy, catch and evolve every obtainable Pokemon for each badge. And you would put yourself through this why? <laughs> I will protect my friends. All right, don't have to sustain any more damage this time. Big damage. No hard feelings. All right, cool. Well, yeah, I'd imagine so, but still, that's uh, quite a bit of insanity there. Here, yeah, let's just have Xander deal with stuff over here. Man, okie doke there, Kuzma. Hope you have a good rest of the night there. And stuff. But yeah, and have fun with that gaming session there. And take care. Victory is mine. Also, I realized that I have the normal like chat thing here. I recently made my chat shorter, and I realized I don't have a 3DS specific chat that goes a little bit farther. So this is like a little bit squished in further than it needs to be. I'll probably fix that before next time I stream. For now, it'll just be like that. Fun way to force replay value on your Pokemon games. Why don't we just play different Pokemon games, like some spin-offs or something like that? Like, uh, like Conquest! Conquest is pretty good. And feels a little bit more fair than this Conquest that I'm playing right now. Yeah, there is that. It's coming up here. I mean, okay, so I'm there anyway. I could probably eat a magical hit, so it's fine. I, you guys aren't moving, so that's a-okay there. I, um, your res is, should be pretty good here. So yeah, I should be able to feel free to head on in here. Here, let's do this, 
You get an extra movement, even. And then we can come here and say, you have a whole lot of res, and do this, and then bada bing, bada boom. What's it gonna be, huh? Bet Xander can't just strip deal with it, never mind. For the glory of it was all a lie. Now he's debuffed, which kind of sucks. All right, then this starts happening. He missed one of them. Not like it makes much difference. If he missed both of them, that would have made a very decent difference because then I wouldn't be debuffed. I sustain more damage on the next hit. Miss. Damn. Are you all right? Okay. Well. Um. Oh God. Let's go. Your defense is good, but your res not so much. I'm just really bad at video games. I don't know what to tell you.